it'll be a, a, a great thing for the for the game, for the city, um, and for women's sport. I really, really think that that uh, you know, 2022, and and we'll see the game have moved and women's sport have moved even more by then. And who knows what it's going to look like? This place could be full. There's so much more attention uh, placed on the women's uh, game, women's sport, um, and it's starting to produce the the uh, spectacle uh, that people want to watch and that's not just men that's women as well and aspiring them to get off the sofas and maybe try whatever they want to try. Uh, so I've been in the role now for a year and, and certainly I've been really pleased by some of the um, some of the things that I've seen not just the performances but the attitudes and the determination uh, the motivation um, and, and parental support as well you know they will drive miles uh, to, to take their, their daughters to cricket games and that's really great to see. The club scene is really healthy at under 11s and under 13s and we have to make sure that we've got the right formats um, that are not just only that not just developing the, um, the talented but are making sure that we've got uh, future club players and I think everything that um, either the ECB or the ICC and, and certainly the counties are trying to do now there there's uh, there's some equality there's equality um, so they're, they're looking at how do we make sure that our women's team has a presence um, how do we make sure that they're resourced and backed and, and supported so I think yeah I think it's gonna be a great time